Hello folks and welcome to Lost World. This is a new map created by Big Papa. It is 29.85 megabytes to download, available for all platforms. There are two required models with this map. The Log Cabin Farmhouse by GTX and the Forestry Cell Point by Gamer Designs. These two extra models will require an extra 14.33 megabytes of storage. But anyways, here we are on Lost World, and yeah, first impressions of this map is very No Man's Lab vibe, but on a slightly smaller scale, we'll get to that, but first of all, let's read the mod description. Welcome to the fictional map of Lost World, where your job is to bring life to this dead world and build a developing economy. In this world, you have to start from scratch, there are no pedestrians or car traffic, 11 fields are available for purchase. Every piece of wood can be harvested and can be started in income. Favourable land prices and will trade. Two points to sell, farmhouse. And good luck with your farm buildings and a good game on the map. Thank you for downloading. So yeah, here we are. Let's look at the PDA. So, go to our PDA. So yeah, very No Man's Lab vibe. There are two fields, but they are all withered. And in terms of scale, obviously, we don't own the periphery or anything. You can't own outside the map. And yeah, I'll say that's a good half of the map gone. So rather than it being a normal 2x map, it's scaled down to, I'll say, about yeah, a 1x. So 1km by 1km rather than 2x2. Two two. But yeah, so looking at the PDA, obviously we'll start over here. And what you start off with on New Farmer is Field 1, Terms with Equipment. We do owe some equipment, so we owe the Welger DK115 Trader and the Bureau 6105. Terms with Slot Count on New Farmer is 491 slots. The extra 6 you see is because we got a pickup ready to tour the map. On start from scratch, you didn't have either of these, so that goes down to 472 slots. You can get down to 460 slots if you remove the sheds here. We've got here the little barn and the farmhouse, so a little thing to note in case you're interested. But yeah, back to the PDA. We do have two points to sell, so we've got Rick Grimes sell points and the forestry sell point over there. And we got our vehicle workshop, our animal dealership, that at the store with our gas station. And then a bit further south, we've got our Daryl Dixon and forestry cell point. So zoned by the Dixons. But yeah, in terms with field prices, obviously field one we've got is twenty eight grand. And as you go around, really doesn't get no more than one hundred and fifty grand. That's for field nine. Unfortunately, you can't purchase the store area, which I am absolutely gutted because I, I like to own the store area because let's say if I'm on a let's play or anything, things like adding storage there, adding stores there, adding washing stations at the dealership, especially for storytelling and role playing. I wish we had that as an option, but anyways, besides from that, yeah, 150 grand for the field prices. Yeah, cheapest obviously you think is what we got, 27 grand. So yeah, it is very favourable, if, even if you're playing on normal economy. Not too bad to get to 100 grand quite quickly. But yeah, so here we are at Sword Shed. And I'm pretty sure this is similar to what we've got base game. But speaking of which, let's go into build mode. So, is there any sheds? There is one shed as part of the map as a custom but by the looks of it it is exactly the same to what we've got base game so let me just wipe that down a sec yeah and comparing the two it is exactly the same same mold on that got mold on the roof right mold on the roof for the bit green bit so I am not sure why that is a custom 
mod it's on its own. Is it because of size or what? Because no exact same size. So yeah, honestly, I don't know. But besides from that, under silos, we've got nothing. Nothing under side extensions. Nothing under containers. Tools, we've got nothing. Farmhouse, obviously you got the modded cabin. And for those who aren't aware of this mod, just have a little quick look. And yeah, I've used this one several times. I think I used this one on Silver Run Forest. And I think I may have used it on either Survival Challenge or Survival Roleplay when I first did that on No Man's Land. But yeah, besides from that. So yeah, back into build mode. So we have a little look. And yeah, besides from that, there are like no molly productions. No more greenhouses or anything like that. On the decorations, there is no custom options. Ah, uh, yeah, in terms of landscaping, have a little look. See if there's any custom textures. There is not. No plants, no custom trees. So, yeah, it's pretty much a simple bog standard map. But, yeah, it's very more inclined to towards the Vinci Survival or just survival challenge-esque kind of vibe. Especially what you start off with on new farm mode, the Bureau and the little trailer. Obviously you got fields which are all withered. But yeah, so let's head to the deer ship and start our tour there where we'll get a pickup. And yeah, it's gonna be a very quick map tour. And here we are at the store. We've got our little pickup here. Just gonna do a quick drive around in a sec. But yeah, this is where your equipment spawns at reset or when you're purchasing. Over here, you got your workshop trigger as standard. And over here, you got your vehicle, not your vehicle dealership, your handball dealership. And then over here is where you got your vehicle dealership. So, typical, standard, very generic from what we see on base game maps. But, anyways, we'll hop into our pickup and yeah. Like, the amount of space here, like, the creation I can have, like, say, over there, it could be a silo, next to the vehicle workshop, could have a little jet washer and that. Again, it's just little things like that, I wish map makers take into consideration of the ability to purchase, even though I can't, like, sell anything here. And, yeah, even have, like, an option for blocking certain sections of where things spawn, that's fine, not an issue. Well, uh, yeah, that's just a little thing, so we're over here, so I think what I'll do is head up north, go to our first cell point, then down south, and then we'll go from there. Well, just there I had to sort of run my way there a little bit, so yeah, our first cell point is literally just up here. And actually, yeah, it's not a little bad cell point by the looks of it. Was it in Dixon's, is it? So yeah, our, your wood cell point is over here. So you either can load it over here or just simply put your logs here. Press the trigger and boom, your wood is sold. But you hop back in. And yeah, just a little drive around. And this is where your first cell point is. And in terms with prices, we have a little look. Yeah, prices are generic, same basic. Yeah, nothing is shouting at me. Yep, so you got your XL point, milk and all that. There is a couple of things that are missing, so things like stones and that. But of course, there's mods and that. That's the sir yard by Missy B for your digesting that. Also, you got the sell everything by Schultz Modding or things like the mobile utilities by Yoast. So yeah, obviously there's other cell points you can have for little things like that. But yeah, overall, again, I see the difference compared to No Man's Land. Like, whilst No Man's Land is more filled with forestry, like, there's more densely packed woodland areas. Here, at the Lost World, it's more of dead land in a way. That's what, that's what I'm getting, it's like. Trees are sporadically placed and has no set rhyme or reason like a forestry area. 
Oh yeah, that's just a general vibe I get from it. Again, it could be just me. I could be wrong with the crash there. But yeah, I also forgot to say there is no collectibles as well. So it's pretty much as simple and basic as you can get. So yeah, head over here to our, our cell point. So same as before. That's where you put your crops and all that in. And your other production items. There's your wood cell point. Oh yeah, actually, let's head to the outskirts. So I want to see how well does the map blend to the outskirts. Like, all you get maps where, like, the boundaries. Alright, the fact that I crashed like that. Just goes about to show, like, how well it's done. Of course, like, looking at it from the side, you can tell the difference, like, the trees are in the way, the border marker and that, so... Yeah, there's still salt signs of the map boundary. Would it be nice to have the full boundary, the full 2x map? Of course, but... It's not designed that way, and even with maps like No Man's Land, really don't use all the map, like, with me and with my Let's Play series, I only use, what, like half of the map? And I had a lot more space than I needed, so... A little simple 1x map, like this, actually. Pretty test that. So, starting off at the bottom right corner, our coordinates are... 1594-1633. And at the other end, it is... On this side, we're at... What's that? A Approaching the end, 420 by 430, so, okay, it's not quite 1x, like, literally half of the map, but it's about 1.25, or about 20% less or so, 25% less of your typical map, rather than half the size. But yeah, as well, like, with the map itself, like, on the west side is a lot of meadows. That's what these little areas are, meadows and that, so you can tell the difference. But then as we head into the other side, you get to, of course, our farm, but also the little plots of lands, like little plots of fields, I mean. So yeah, obviously we've got our wither crop here. Is that sunflower by the looks of it? And yeah, as you go across, yeah, you got more of your grass field, and I could pretty much confirm that by going into the PDA. And usually these will just turn up, yeah. So you do have individual grass fields, and obviously got your grass meadow. So of course you get more more bang for your buck in that, uh, so to speak, with grass fields compared to grass meadows. They yield a lot more. Is to be exact meaning, but. Yeah, precise from that. That is the map tour, yeah, it's simple, basic, very New Man's Land-like, and that is a compliment. No collectibles or anything, but at the end of the day, it's a very simple map, and you can't really beat anything with that. And yeah, I do see this as a a good map for like a survival challenge, or vintage survival, or start from scratch, kind of I like start from zero challenge. This is like the map more leaning in towards that, but even in general, if you like want big old massive builds, of course you can, you know, just whack up and equipment that, cut the tree down with like the devourer and that, get the big plows, create some huge fields and that, but yeah, besides from that, there's not much else to say, and yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. And as always, hope you enjoyed this map tour, if so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, and Stream. And, I'll see you all very soon.